Funnily enough, I found great, great similarities between her and Elizabeth I, mm. who I'd also played and researched. And the quality that they both had was this utter, utter dedication to their country. That above everything. Um, in the case of Elizabeth I, obviously it was a country that was already had a long history and, and had been, in, in Golda's case, she was truly one of the creators, one of the people responsible for the existence of Israel. Um, you know, she was, she was there before it became the state of Israel. She was there throughout the whole early, early creation of Israel. So that utter, utter dedication to the, probably the exclusion of her family to a certain extent, certainly her husband sort of went by the wayside um, because that was, I mean, later on she said, I was at my happiest and I'm, I think this was true. She was at her happiest looking after the chickens in the kibbutz and she would have liked a simpler life, but she understood that this was what she had to do and having taken that step, and, and not unlike Elizabeth II, incidentally. Mm. Um, having taken that step, her commitment was absolute, was uncompromising in total. Mm.